welcome to our new series on fundamentals of world geography this is a map based learning series from clarity of concept upsc you will learn about all features of world geography continent wise in this and next few videos we have covered entire south america now you might wonder why we go into these details if you have seen 2024 and 2025 question paper it is not just about what's in the news they also test you on fundamental geography and basic concepts by understanding these core details like world's physical features and climate you build a strong foundation then you can connect with current affairs so right now we are focusing on those basics to help you be fully prepared in this video we cover outline of south america and in next 6 videos we take all these features in detail and in eighth and last video on south america we cover climate ocean currents pressure belts and other climatic factors you can now download our mobile apps and web apps to strengthen your learning and to get more materials we have a specialized statements and evaluation quiz that helps you master the kind of statements that are asked in upsc prelims and other exams The links of our app is given in the description box below. Well, now let us start with South America. South America is one of the 7 continents on earth. It is the fourth largest continent. South America is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the Pacific Ocean to the west. In the south, it is bordered by the Southern Ocean. This ocean surrounds Antarctica. and meets the southern tip of south america the waters here are cold rough and windy between cape horn in south america and the south shetland islands of antarctica lies the drake passage the drake passage is famous for some of the toughest waters in the world because of the strong antarctic circumpolar current or acc we will study this in detail in next video in the north South America is bordered by the Caribbean Sea. The Caribbean Sea is part of the Atlantic Ocean and has warm tropical waters. It contains many islands and supports rich marine life. The northern coast also has important gulfs and bays such as the Gulf of Venezuela. South America is connected to North America by the isthmus of Panama. A narrow strip of land that separates the caribbean sea from the pacific ocean south america extends from about 12 degree latitude in the north to about 56 degree latitude in the south the equator passes through the northern part of the continent it crosses ecuador colombia and brazil the great amazon rainforest lies near the equator It is the largest tropical rainforest in the world and covers about 5.5 million square kilometers. It is home to millions of species of plants and animals, many of which are found nowhere else. The rainforest plays a major role in producing oxygen for the planet and regulating the global climate. Flowing through this forest is the mighty Amazon River. It is about 6500 kilometers long. making it the second longest river in the world after the nile however it is the largest river in the world by volume of water the amazon river has the largest drainage basin in the world covering about 7 million square kilometers its mouth is so wide that fresh water can be detected far into the atlantic ocean we will see this in detail in next videos In the north of the continent lies Angel Falls in Venezuela. It is the highest waterfall in the world with an uninterrupted drop of about 979 meters. The water falls from the top of Ayon Tepoy, a flat-topped mountain in the Guyana Highlands, creating one of the most spectacular sights in nature. Another important feature of South America is the Andes Mountains. They are the longest continental mountain range in the world. 
stretching for about 7000 kilometers along the entire western coast of the continent the andes have the highest peak outside asia mount aconcagua in argentina it rises to 6961 meters above sea level the range passes through seven countries venezuela colombia ecuador peru bolivia chile and argentina the andes have the highest capital city in the world this is la paz in bolivia which lies at about 3650 meters above sea level they also have lake titicaca located between peru and bolivia lake titicaca is the highest navigable lake in the world at about 3810 meters above sea level mount chimborazo is in ecuador its height is 6263 meters It is the farthest point on earth from the planet center because the earth is wider at the equator. This makes Chimborazo's summit the closest point on earth to outer space. The Atacama Desert is on the western side of the Andes in northern Chile. It is the driest non-polar desert in the world. Some parts have had no recorded rainfall for decades. Its dryness is due to its location between two mountain ranges and the cold Humboldt current along the coast. The Atacama also has some of the clearest skies in the world, making it an ideal location for astronomical observations. Not just mountains, South America also has great wetlands. The Pantanal is the most famous among them. It is the largest tropical wetland in the world. it covers an area of about 150000 square kilometers the pantanal lies mostly in brazil but also spreads into bolivia and paraguay every rainy season it floods widely and creates a rich habitat for wildlife it supports hundreds of bird species jaguars capybaras caimans and a large variety of fish At the southern part of South America there are several important islands Tierra del Fuego lies at the southern tip of the continent It is a group of islands shared by Argentina and Chile The largest island is Isla Grande Tierra del Fuego Its southernmost point is Cape Horn which is famous for stormy seas and dangerous sailing conditions South America also has wide plains and grasslands. The Pampas are fertile plains in Argentina, Uruguay and southern Brazil. They are famous for cattle ranching and agriculture. The Campos lies in southern Brazil, Uruguay and parts of Argentina. They are open grasslands with moderate rainfall. The Cerrado is a tropical savanna in central Brazil. It has tall grasses, shrubs and small twisted trees and is rich in biodiversity. The llanos stretch across Venezuela and Colombia. They are tropical grasslands that flood in the wet season and dry out in the dry season. The Gran Chaco is a dry plain spread across Argentina, Paraguay, Bolivia and Brazil. It has thorny forests shrubs and is known for guacho culture this is just outline of south america in next 6 videos we are going into details of all this and more in eighth and last video we will learn about climate of south america subscribe to our channel and download our app link is given in the description box below